If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the Team of the Week LTDs, Heroes, Lower Step Pieces, Explaining Team of the Week, Power Up Expansion, and a lot more, guys. There's a lot to go over here. I'm going to get into all of it, tell you guys my players, my predictions, and everything else. Now, here's the thing with Team of the Week. Team of the Week is a bit different than it has been in years past starting last year now could they change that it's possible but i'm gonna be rocking with what we saw last year if that has changed week one we will adjust our weekly predictions accordingly but last year was a different year than what we're used to seeing team of the week was half current half past which is pretty cool at the same time gave us a lot of players but this year they've been giving a lot of usual players so i suspect there's a chance team of the week could really go crazy but we have to see and before we get into the video guys if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell Give it a big thumbs up, of course. And if you want to be shouted out in the next Poodle Squad shout out, all you gotta do is like the video, be sub with Noti Bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout out goes out to Mr. Logic. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. And of course, guys, if you do need coins, head over to my new sponsor down below. You can get a million coins for under 50 bucks. It's really just a steal, way better than opening bundles. Save some money. Build the God Squad. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. So, the way Team of the Week works last year, right? So there was lower set guys. There was about six, whatever, whatever amount of lower set guys there was. And those guys pretty much were guys who had top performances but didn't get any top player cards. But the beauty of those cards were they gave, they added them to like power up expansion. So let's say Tyree Kill has a 91, uh, 90 overall card powered up, right? Let's just say Tyree Kill powered up 90 overall. If he gets a, a 80 overall team of the week card, all that means is it's like a collectible. It means he gets a plus one on his power up. So now you can go ahead into his power up. For, uh, for instance, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by going to the binder and show you guys a power up card. So let's say, let's go over to, uh, do I have a current day one right over here? Let's say Saquon Barkley got a power-up expansion. He had a great week one, and he didn't get it like he didn't get a hero card, like a 91 overall, but instead they gave him a plus one on his power-up. So if you went over to upgrades, if you got an 80 overall team of the week card, right here where it says item refunded at the end, you'd be able to go over one more spot. It would say 91 overall, which would be an upgrade. So that means you can get like plus one more speed. And it's a great way to really low-key upgrade a lot of cards throughout the year without having to drop a whole card for them and like making them too dominant. Just enough to keep them up to date with what's going on, which I really, really like. So that's the lower set pieces. Some of those guys deserve the hero, some of them don't, some of them get it, some of them don't. You know what I mean? Like, it really just depends. Next, guys, we had Legend Heroes. The way Legend Heroes worked were, these were players who don't play anymore today that had great week one performances. So, let's say, like, let's say, um, Randy Moss, let's just say, right? It wouldn't be him, but Randy Moss had three touchdowns and 300 yards week one of 2004, right? And he doesn't play anymore. He would be in contention for the Legend Hero. So, that's kind of what we're going to be doing there as well. And then um, those are going to be the two there. Then there's the current hero. That's the one who had the best week one performance in the current NFL. Then there's the LTD current. That's going to be one of the best current day players who had the best performance of week one in a past year. So like, let's say Russell Wilson week one of 2016 had 400 yards and five touchdowns, right? He would be in contention. Let's say, you know, TJ Watt had four sacks in 2018 on week one. He would be in contention. That's how that works. So let's get into our predictions and go through everyone that I do suspect to actually get an upgrade here. So... We're going to try to keep it quicker on the lower set guys again because those are the least exciting ones. But I'll go over the main ones I'm excited for. I'll read off the names after I do show the ones I'm excited for. So first one, I think Chandler Jones. He is actually tied to actually get the, the current day hero. I don't know if he will, but I have another guy slated to be there. But Chandler Jones had five sacks close to the NFL record. Probably his career high in a game, honestly. But he will probably get a plus one on his power-up. So do expect him to be an 86 overall, 85 powered up, 86 with the plus one, which would actually make him pretty decent. You know, not a crazy card. Now, is he in line? Could he potentially get the card that we want? It's possible. I'm not sure if he will, though. Next, I expect Jalen Hurts to get one. He had a really good game for someone who no one expected much from. He did really good. He showed out. Um, have like 70 rushing yards, had, you know, three passing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns. He had a really good game. Now, Jalen Hurts, the only thing with him is he doesn't have a power-up, so I'm not sure, like, how they'll go about it. His card may just be a better overall version of him, right? It may just be, like, an 80 overall Jalen Hurts, which would be pretty cool. Decent budget beast. Next, guys, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill had the best, like, non-performance, non-quarterback performance of the week, which makes him in contention for the top card as well. So, Tyreek Hill is pretty cool. The way it's going to work is his 88, his 88 overall powered-up card will get to an 89, which is really, really awesome. I really like that. The only thing that sucks about it is that we do have the 91 Tyreek for free. So or whatever, the 90 Tyreek or 89, whatever it was, for free. So I don't suspect that it'll probably be the same card, but at least now you could power up your Tyreek. If you didn't get the other one, you could power up your Tyreek and have, like, even speed and have everything you want from that Tyreek. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, next, guys, just to read off the other ones, I think Debo Samuel can get one, Jameis Winston, and Dre Greenlaw. If you guys want to know, Tyreek had, like, 200 yards almost and two touchdowns. 
Debo Samuel had like a really long touchdown. Jameis Winston had five touchdowns on the Packers in his Saints debut. And Dre Greenlaw, I believe, had a pick and a sack, something like that. Or a fumble six. I don't remember. It was maybe pick six or a fumble six. Next, guys, let's get to our legend heroes. Now, again, I can't exactly show you what they'll look like because they're not in the game. But I can give you some decent comparisons. So, my first legend hero, my defensive one for week one is Leroy Glover. Now, he seems likely because, again, he is a card we had in Madden last year. He was a captain. Uh, I think he had, like, a sack, a sack, a forced fumble. Maybe a pass deflection from the line. I don't remember, but he did pretty good as well. The Roy Glover had a great week one. We know that Madden has its rights. We could easily use him. He's be, I believe he's a defensive tackle. He'll be pretty good. Not the greatest card, but again, not every card in Team of the Week could be banger. That would just be, you know, it's never been the case. Next for our offensive legend hero, Priest Holmes. Now, guys, if we got a Priest Holmes card, I would be super excited. I would love a Priest Holmes on the Chiefs. Like, that's just a great card. We have. I don't, I don't know if we've ever had it in Madden. I mean... I don't remember in much as long as I played ever having a Priest Holmes. He could have been in the game. Maybe I didn't know who he was at the time, so I didn't think to ever have him. But Priest Holmes would be fun. I I uh, predicted him last year as well in hopes that we would see him, and we never did. Now, Priest Holmes is a mix of like an elusive power back. He'd be able to do a little bit of everything, which I really like. He'd probably be similar to a... I don't know if it'd be like a Saquon Barkley build. I, I don't know. I don't remember how heavy he was, but I know that... He had some power to him. He was also pretty fast and strong. You know, he didn't have the longest career, but he did have a pretty good stretch run on the Chiefs. I would really like to see Priest Holmes in the game. He had 150, 151 yards and three touchdowns week one of like 2000, I don't know, 2004, 2005 around there. He would be a really, really good card. I would love to see Priest Holmes in the game. I think he'd be a super fun running back. Now, guys, for the banger, the one that I'm super excited to go over, the current day hero from week one. Now, the beauty of this card, guys, is that he would be one. He probably the best running back in Matt. I mean, it's not, not meant to be a joke there. And no, it isn't Lamar. Uh, Kyler Murray for the current day set hero. Now, Kyler Murray would be the best quarterback probably in Madden. Figure, right? I'd have to imagine right now with the way overalls are trending, a Kyler Murray current day hero has to be at least a 90 overall, right? 90, 91. So 90 overall Kyler Murray has a 90 speed probably, right? Keep in mind, Kyler Murray probably gets a 90 speed. He showed out with his legs that day too. Kyler Murray, 90 speed is going to be crazy. He probably has a 90 throw power. I mean, that's a plus 10 overall plus a power up. That's a plus 11 overall. You have to imagine his throw power and speed both get to at least 90. So you're getting 90 speed, 90 throw power. That's the best quarterback in the game. His short accuracy ends up like his short, medium, and deep probably. None of them probably cross 90. Maybe a short does. His throw on the run, they probably all end up being high 88s. 80 throw power, 80, uh, 90 speed, 90 throw power, high 88, you know, passing, plus strategy cards. And of course, his change of direction probably ends up being a 90. His jukes mid 80s. His uh, break sack probably ends up high 80. The cards end up being insane. He had five, five touchdowns and 300 yards. He had only like 30 yards on the ground. And what's crazy about that is that he actually was running a lot, but he was using his legs differently than he did last year. Instead of relying on his legs to, you know, extend the excel you know it's like get a first down he uses legs to extend plays which is what great quarterbacks know to do they hold their pocket presence they use their legs to avoid sacks and let things develop and that's what he did because last year as this has always been the problem with running quarterbacks that you know don't get to that next level they they take off but when they take off they focus on juking out the next guy the first down marker kyler murray had like that bad poise last night he was in the pocket he was doing like he was running fast, too. He was running like a little, a little rat around the backfield and still keeping his eyes downfield and still hitting people wide open. If he can keep that up, again, could it have been the defense? Maybe. But if he can keep that up all year, guys, I think Kyler Murray could have an MVP-type season. I mean, he looked great last night. Now, for the LTD current player, that was going to be the player that, that still plays today but had an insane Week 1 performance in the past. That's going to be Khalil Mack. I think Khalil Mack would be 2017, 2018. Khalil Mack would be crazy. He would be a super fun card for Madden, guys. He'll probably have a 91 overall ltd khalil mac and this car would be crazy guys i mean he had uh i think he had a pick six a sack and a fumble now it could be the other way around it could be a, a pick a sack and a fumble six i'm not sure it just specified touchdown but he did great he had a great week he had a pass deflection he had a pick he had a sack he had a bunch of tackles tackles for losses he was really good blue max stats would be super insane i mean he probably gets at that point a 91 overall ltd so he gets up to 92 that's a five plus increase on his overall so we have to imagine his power movement blocks are both 90 and his player can tackle player tackle blocks should power move 90 that makes him 
one of the best thresholded, you know, outside linebackers in the game. Finesse is probably mid 80s. His speed gets up to probably an 85, 84, which makes him just really, really fast at that point for what, you know, what he's known to do. Not to mention, guys, he's six foot three, 269. Like, he's going to be he's strong as hell. His strength probably ends up high 80s. So he's getting near that Aaron Donald strength. His impact blocking gets above 90s, change of direction to mid 70s. This card ends up getting really good. His hit power ends up high 80, like 88. This card's really good. This card would be an insane outside linebacker. He probably is the meta. He probably be a meta linebacker for quite a while because he can stop the run, stop the, you know, stop the run, rush the pass. He has the strength to dominate and the height and size and the speeds are great as well. Not to mention, you know, he can also stand up backwards and catch a pick or two if you really needed him to, because of course he is six foot three, 55 catching, I guess is serviceable at this point. Not to mention it's mad. You know, anyone could pick the ball. I picked off guys with defensive tackles this year, but that is it guys. So low list. We have Dre Greenlaw, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Hurts, Debo Samuel, Jameis Winston, Chandler Jones, Legend Heroes, we got Priest Holmes, Leroy Glover. Current here, we have Kyler Murray, and then LTD Current, we have Khalil Mack. Guys, if you have any other predictions to add to this from a week, like your favorite team, who did well that I, I missed, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know who you think could hit, who you think won't. And of course, guys, Kyle, we'll come back here tomorrow when we do know officially. And if you guys are wondering why I did this before the Monday night game, they typically reveal these players at night before the Monday night game. So if I waited till then, it would just be a waste because they would already reveal them. It wouldn't be a fun video. So come back tomorrow, guys, to see how many we got right. And of course, expect this pretty weekly. I mean, Team of the Week's going to be a fun time for the year. So that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.